below. This is uh, halfway through the second bottle of wine. I had the plan was to like. I got this from the uh, the um, uh, the American version of uh, Walmart's in in Japan. And if you bought one bottle at 580 yen, you could get two for like 500 yen, which is like a thousand plus tax, which is like a thousand and sixty yen or about nine dollars. And if you're in America and you come here and you can buy two bottles of wine for nine dollars or less, you be, this is from France, the other one was from South Africa. I'm not keeping up with my South African friends, should they exist. And uh, so I've been on the internet. I, I finished off my half of pizza. The other half of pizza is fucking big. It was. It was dry the first half, but the second half I just put it in the microwave. Then I put other stuff on it. And I must admit, this five dollar wine was fucking good. And then I went on to uh, YouTube. I was watching English programs. What I usually do. Sometimes I watch Conan because Conan's good. And then it went on to John Cooper Clark. Now, a lot of people, a lot of young people will, will not know who John Cooper Clark was. And he was like a punk poet. And uh, and I used to, like, copy. I used to, like, go on stage. Well, fuck it, maybe I did it once or twice. And I used to do his poems. And because he was fucking brilliant, John Cooper Clark. And, uh, and everybody loved it. He was very popular, very big at the time. And he's made some kind of a comeback recently, but do do check him out. He's very he's very funny. But see, my sh in my city where Sheffield, we it was called like the the Russia of Ring England, because of the the communism or the or as they so as the communism, in in my city. But we had the cheapest fucking bus fares in Europe, including like Eastern Europe. It was like ten pence. Now, 10 pence is about, it's like a tenth of a pound. And I, in fact, I don't know why he's looking like a book. I haven't got false teeth. I was accused of this when I was in my 20s because they look good. I, thought I, had false, I don't have false teeth. This is a drunk video, by the way. And, um, and in Sheffield at that time, because what, what I'm, the point I want to get to is like the fucking eighties music was the best, and what Sheffield did it was because Margaret Thatcher she killed the fucking coal mining and steel industry, basically because Margaret Thatcher is an evil cunt. Anyone that believes in her policy is an evil cunt. Margaret Thatcher was and is an evil cunt, and if you're paying very expensive money for your utilities for your gas, electricity and water is because of Margaret Thatcher and it went around the world privatizing companies. Instead of public people, instead of the public, the country providing water, electricity and gas, it went to private companies who did not give a fuck, who did not give a fuck, do not give a fuck about you fucking getting electricity, getting warmth or fucking having water at a reasonable price. That was Margaret Thatcher. And if anyone tells me, if someone comes to my face and says, Margaret Thatcher, I'll punch him in the fucking face. I will fucking beat him. Don't ever fucking try it. Anyway, so apart from Margaret Thatcher being a cunt, so apart from Margaret Thatcher killing fucking 50,000 jobs in my city, apart from her fucking son being a cunt, but I, I digress. And so... This led to the music transformation in my city, and we, uh, because the local council, they put, they they built a studio, and lots of unemployed kids, they with musical talent and some not with musical talent, went to the studio in in the centre of town, and they practiced their they practiced their music for free, and we are uh, we. And not just not just in Sheffield, but also other other parts of the country, Liverpool as well, which was devastated by uh, by fucking job losses. So we produced in in England in the eighties the best fucking music. Fuck the Beatles. Beatles did fucking melodies. The Rolling Stones did fucking rock. 
But in the 80s, you had fucking young kids that were fucking writing music about how they felt. They were writing music about life. And that is... And, and it has turned out that that was the best fucking music. It wasn't fucking catchy music. It was fucking proper music. It was fucking real music. It's what people wanted to listen to. It was what people were moved by. It was people... After the 1980s, in the fucking 90s, and in the last 30 years, it has proved to be the best fucking music. Because it came from people's hearts. Thank you. Bye-bye.